Hi everyone, my name's Doug. I'm a specialist guide here at the Desert Park. Now here at our park, what we have is a good display of native botanic life, native plant life, native mammal life, and a good emphasis on local Aboriginal culture. So every day in the park, we do presentations that bring all of these aspects together. And we also have three separate habitats on the park as well. This particular one we're in now is sand country. So what we've done on the park now, we do have native animals on in our protected core area so what we do when we walk around we actually spot tracks so if you come along here and have a look what we can spot now is uh, some actually some tracks from one of our mammals here now judging by these particular little tracks we had some rain last night so it was kind of left it quite pronounceable and easy to see but this would be one of our native macropods and it could well be either a brush-tailed beton, and I'm sure that we still have marla free ranging on the park as well. This is really good because part of our interpretation here at the park, where we do the cultural presentations, we explain how the importance of tracking traditionally for uh, Aboriginal people here in Central Australia and for Aboriginal people all over Australia. These were very good teaching tools to teach our young people, particularly the young boys, because they had to know how to track particular animals because when the boys become adults, of course, they're going to be hunters, so they've got to know how to track. Now, the tracks are pretty well pronounced just now. You know, it's not clear to see because we've had rain last night. But also, you know, there is a skill to tracking. What you have to do is like, you know, this is going to dry like this now, so in a couple of days' time, these will still be here. But of course, if you were hunting for survival, following a trap that's made you know, three days ago, it's not going to be very good. So, again, like it's how the old people described it, if you look at a track in the dry time, and you can see it's got sharp edges, you know it's fresh. But if you look at a track, and the wind's had time to soften the edges of the track, you know that the track has been made quite a time before. Also, the way you know, the old people describe tracking is if you know your country, everything has its place. So, if you're looking, and even if you're walking across the rocky area, if you see a rock that you look at it and think, mate, that's not quite right, you focus on that, and then the track will start to form in front of you. This is the skill of traditional Aboriginal men in particular, and the women folk too, I should, I should add. But uh, tracking was such an important and essential part of life in traditional times.